hey guys check this out going over the charts here looking at bitcoin and looking at all the other crypto projects here uh looking here at bitcoin at twenty one thousand forty one dollars and thirty one cents insane right now looking at ethereum ethereum sitting at seventeen hundred uh seventeen thousand sorry whoa messed that up seventeen hundred nineteen dollars and six cents seventeen thousand ethereum didn't happen yet but we know it's probably coming so sitting here at xrp 35 cents really just everything popping looking at crypto bubbles like everything's green and i'm just like whoa like the theorem merge happening the vassal hard fork with the with the cardano just a ton of excitement i do think it's like a false pump per se uh, looking at these charts uh you know we did pop out of that range we were looking at last week uh that that box we have so we can remove that we did break to the bottom made it low and then spiked right up to the top like crazy but um looking here i think i saw it on ethereum uh looking on ethereum i saw this head and shoulders pattern uh very clean head and shoulders pattern and i just think that after you know the the music stops if you if you will i do think that you know, we could make a new low i think you know ethereum dropping under a thousand dollars is really what i'm looking at again uh, only because i just think it's hype it's off it's a lot of fud F crypto fear greed fear sentiment is 22 so i just don't think we're out of what we're check i think that a pullback is okay i just don't think that oh that this confirms it was the bottom um we pretty much cleared all these lows we cleared this level right here um, we're kind of in the same zone if you want to be uh, very technical we're in the same zone but this level here I, you know it's, it's it's valid it's definitely valid and for me i don't think it was respected as much as, as it should have been um seeing that this red uh, bearish candle uh really just cleared it but this entire zone is is critical so we'll see what happens i'm not giving into this this uh this bullish sentiment uh, that was the bottom sentiment. I'm just not giving into it yet. I need to see a little more confirmation. For me, I need to see a break and close above 22,000, then a break and close above 25,000. Or I think it was 25,5. If we look up here, 25. Yep, 25,5 is really what I need to see in order for me to change my sentiment from where we stand right now. Um, I do see the logic of us having you know a double bottom i do see here you know if we look here came up came down and respected this level a little bit i just don't see it as uh being as respected as i'd like to see it um, right now uh it does it does i do get the level of support here but i definitely think that it was disrespected this this past week that level of support was disrespected like there was no it was just falling through so We'll see what happens. I want to see a break. I'm not changing my bias. I'm bearish until further notice. Um, I want to see a break here, which will be about 22. We can say, I think it's a little bit. Let's say a break and close above 22,000. Yep. And then we can do a break and close above 25.5. And so once that happens, then my entire sentiment changes. As we stand right now, I'm still bearish. I'm not giving into the FUD. I'm not giving into, oh, you know, this is, we're both, we're rallying now. That, like, Terra Classic, Terra Luna Classic is pumping. Like, I'm not, I'm not giving into this, like, notion that we're in a, we're in a bull market now just because we, we're having a good day. So, uh, sticking to the market cycle, sticking to what we've seen, you know, year after year, when we look at the previous market cycles, I definitely think we have a good 12 to 18 months until the next bull run. Um, and that's just my personal opinion. Uh, that's based off of what I've seen. I did, I didn't make it through our fir uh, the first bear run last time back in 20, uh, you know, got in 27, end of 2017, uh, 2018 was the end of that bull run, made it through a first bear run uh, for, it was a good, a good 12 to 18 months <laughs> it was a, it was a tough one too and it, feel, it felt just like this it felt just like this like get on here and tell you guys to accumulate tell you guys that this is the opportunity it was the same thing except now there's a lot more framework there's a lot a lot more proof that this is here to stay back you know the last bear run it was like dang this is really risky like this thing could plummet 
you know, I, I, I believe in the tech, but I'm not not necessarily sure. You know, banks are calling it a scam. This is before they started, you know, building metaverses and partnering with Sandbox and all this nonsense, all this nonsense. Not nonsense, but you know what I mean. Um, so this is more like now you're like, OK, you've seen the adoption. You've seen countries adopt this technology. Now, what are you going to do? So it's that's it's the only the only thing different is the level of level of uh, companies, level of adoption of people that are actually building a foundation through blockchain technology. So uh, but when it comes to the technicals and, and the and the, the uh, you know, looking at the meter here, extreme fear, uh, fear, greed meters and, and the sentiment and you have people calling it a scam and all that, that's still the same. Now you have more a framework of what this can do and how it's going to change the world. So hope you got some value out of this video, guys. Uh, keep moving forward in everything that you do. Let me give you my Bitcoin price prediction. Uh, my price prediction still remains before I leave, but still remains to be we make a new low. Like, I still believe that this leg that we saw here and in May, June, is gonna be here. So I do not think, I I, I don't know, you know, I, I go to the gym and one of the guys is a, is a bank trader. He goes there, uh, we do CrossFit, and he told me he got his Bitcoin going to eight grand. I don't have Bitcoin going to eight grand. I don't know. I need to see what we do when we reach 14 to 17 again. So that's kind of my sentiment right now. My price prediction for Bitcoin, 14 to 17, guys. Keep moving forward in everything that you do, and we'll see you soon.